Today we are building a downpipe for a Mazda RX-7. So specifically we're working on a third generation RX-7. That would be an FD RX-7 if you're uh, on the street and you want to use the right lingo. And these cars came with a twin turbo setup on the 1.3 liter rotary. And for years I sold turbo kits for second and third gen RX-7s. And specifically on the third generation, it converted the twin turbo to a big single turbo setup, which was better in nearly every single way. Oh, and by the way, this is a 321 stainless steel flex bellow. I find these superior in nearly every single way compared to a braided flex pipe. You can get these from aceraceparts.com. I think Vibrant sells them too, but I've actually had kind of a bad experience using them uh, years ago anyways, and they were just 304 stainless. Uh, definitely check out the 321 from aceraceparts.com. They are the cat's meow. So the reason we're building this downpipe is because my customer purchased a second-hand Gleaseman turbo kit, and it came without a downpipe. So he reached out to me through email, now I want to say I'm sorry if you did not get a response from me in the last few years if you've reached out about getting some of these parts done. I haven't been building them and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say I still don't build them. Right time, right place. And something I wanted to really show on this video is just kind of how easy it is to make something you can sell for quite a bit of money. This jig has like $8.74 in material in it. And after it's put together, after you build the first one and make a jig around it, you've got a jig now that you can make endless parts out of. And I find that really exciting. I basically provided for my entire family for many years selling RX-7 parts to RX-7 people. And... Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's a niche market within a niche market. So there's there's lots there's lots for the taking out there. So if, if you've got a mind who, who loves fabricating and, and you want to get into uh, making money doing your skill, I highly recommend finding something to jig.
didn't quite nail the purge there. Uh, feel free to roast me in the comments on that. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Okay, we're moving on to the second part of this project. This is the turbine housing from the same car that I just built the downpipe for. I attached a mandrel to the back side of it. Now I can chuck it easily on the lathe. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm machining off this marmon flange. I absolutely hate these flanges. I, I refuse to build turtle kits that accepted them. I believe deeply in machining it off and welding on a proper V-band with a proper sealing ring on it. That not only helps it seal, but also uh, makes it a lot easier to assemble. Okay, so I have removed that awful marmon flange and this is what's left. I've just given myself a bevel for some weld prep. So I've also trimmed down this V-band. They're recessed slightly in the back to, uh, to allow a little bit of a slip into the pipe and then welding. So we don't need that on here, so I got rid of it. I also put a bevel on here for some weld prep and I've also beveled the inside just slightly to make a nice merge from the uh, inside of the turbine housing here. Okay, so uh, if you're following along at home with your own turbine housing, this is kind of how I'm doing it. So we've got our V-band tacked onto the turbine housing, and then we've got our purge plug installed on top. This pulls some heat out of the weld, keeps some heat out of it for warping sake, and it also keeps some rigidity to it for warping sake as well, so it gives you something to clamp to. We've got the gas coming in from the bottom, and it's diffused through a small like muffler style nipple. So that's flowing through the top. So really important to have that purge in there. The other important thing is that uh, we're gonna preheat this thing. So make sure you get this kind of hot because this is cast steel. In my experience, cast steel needs a bit of a preheat. The rod that we're using is 309. So that's good for joining dissimilar metals and it's perfect for this application. Uh, I've welded on literally hundreds of these and had no problem ever with it. So uh, I really trust this combination and this process. So this thing is about purged, so uh, let's get into welding. Okay, that wraps us up for our three inch RX-7 downpipe build and turbine housing modification. Uh, I hope this might encourage you to maybe consider building your own downpipe for your car. It's always fun to purchase these parts and this customer will be happy that this is just a bolt-on part for their car. Back in the day when I was just a machinist, I actually uh, had never welded tubes, never worked with tubes, and I, uh, I had to get a downpipe built for my RX-7 and I, called a local guy, his name's Muffler Guy, and he does all the tubes in the area, and he walked me through it, and I realized it wasn't really as hard as people made it out to be. So, um, it's simple, and if, uh, if you wanna make repeat parts, just make a jig, and then they come out the same every time. It's easy, and people will definitely pay you to do that. So, check it out if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching along, and uh, see you on the next one.